actor and rapper Merlin Santana was born in New York City on March 14, 1976, to immigrant parents from the Dominican Republic. His birth was actually a magical miracle. Ironically, that's also how he got his name. He was born extremely premature. Doctors believe that he would surely have physical and mental health problems. However, he was perfect. So, since he magically defied all the odds, his parents named him Merlin, after the 1940s fictional character Merlin the Magician. His family lived in the Washington Heights area, a rough, drug-infested neighborhood. His mother got the idea to put him in the arts to get him off the streets and keep him out of trouble. She saw a lot of his friends going down the wrong path. So she got Merlin involved in modeling first, which led into acting. He landed his first job at the tender age of three after his mother had a chance encounter with a talent agent. The agent encouraged Merlin to audition for a national fast food ad campaign. He got that job and many more after. He also stood out compared to other actors his age because he was bilingual. He spoke both English and Spanish fluently. Then his big break would come when he landed the role of Stanley, Rudy Huxtable's boyfriend on The Cosby Show in 1991. Bill Cosby actually handpicked Merlin to appear on the show after seeing him in a play the previous year. His character was also a rival of Rudy's friend, Kenny, played by Dion Richman. The two boys would become fast friends and get to work together again playing brothers in the short-lived sitcom Getting By, starring Cindy Williams and Telma Hopkins. That same year, Merlin would also make a memorable guest appearance on one episode of Sister Sister as the love interest of both twins Tia and Tamara. Merlin would get another shot at another short-lived sitcom called Under One Roof the following year. He starred as Marcus Henry alongside James Earl Jones, Joe Morton, and Vanessa Bell Calloway. Hello, my sisters. Hey, Ohaji. Another standout role would come in 1996 when he played Moesha's poetry writing boyfriend, Ohaji, on the sitcom Moesha. In the cool, sweet morning under the starlit night zone, I got think of you, our love's all fat. He would appear a handful of times over the span of three years. Also that year, he would land the role he would become most known for as high school student and heartthrob Romeo Santana on The Steve Harvey Show. He would play the role for the entire six-year run of the show and earn nominations for the NAACP Image Awards and Alma Awards. The character having the same last name as him was no coincidence. Merlin himself advocated for the use of his own name to shed light on the different shades and colors that make up the Latin community. He believed that many times when people think Latino, they have a specific look in mind, and he wanted to highlight Latinos that are Black and Dominican, like him as well. Merlin would do a variety of television show guest spots and small movie roles for a short time following the end of The Steve Harvey Show. He would also dive into his music more. He had always been a rapper, but couldn't devote as much time to it in the past as he would have liked to because of his acting commitments. Unfortunately, his career and life would soon come to a tragic end. Merlin and his friend, fellow actor Brandon Adams, were at a restaurant where they met up with a young girl and her friend. The girl told Merlin that her name was Mercedes. The group of four proceeded to have dinner and then went to a club. At some point in the night, Merlin and Mercedes would end up having a one-night stand and then go their separate ways. The next day, Merlin and Mercedes would meet up again, however, Merlin wasn't showing her the same attention that he did the night before, and Mercedes didn't like that. The following night, on November 9, 2002, after leaving the home of an acquaintance in the Crenshaw District of Los Angeles, Merlin and Brandon were sitting in a car parked outside. They both noticed a red laser shining through the back window. When they looked to see what it was, they were ambushed with gunfire. Brandon drove off and after stopping at a safe spot, he noticed Merlin slumped over. 
a 12 gauge shotgun bullet entered through the trunk, penetrated through the back seat, and also the right front passenger headrest where Merlin was sitting, entering his head and killing him. He was 26 years old. In 2003, Damien Gates was convicted of the first degree murder of Merlin and the attempted murder of his friend Brandon. He was sentenced to three consecutive life sentences plus 70 years in prison. Another individual who was firing a handgun during the crime, Brandon Bynes, pled guilty to voluntary manslaughter and assault with a deadly weapon. He received a 23-year sentence. It would later be revealed in court that Mercedes, whose real name is Monique King and who was only 15 at the time, was the one that set the attack on Merlin in motion. She falsely accused Merlin of making sexual advances towards her to her friends, Damien Gates and Brandon Bynes. The reason for Monique's outrageous actions can possibly be found while taking a deep dive into her background. Throughout her troubled youth, she'd been in numerous foster homes. She had a history of manipulating people to get what she wanted or to get people to do what she wanted. Monique was found guilty of second degree murder and attempted murder in January 2004. She received 10 years in juvenile custody. In a television interview with KCBS TV, Steve Harvey spoke about the senseless murder. This kid is not a gangster. Whatever the situation was, he didn't deserve to die. Merlin's last television acting role was on the UPN series Half and Half, while his last film role was a 2003 comedy film titled The Blues with longtime friend Dion Richmond. He is survived by his parents, siblings, and daughter. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time.